never lose hope. Pray without ceasing and remember who you serve. With every fiber of your being, love and serve with fervent compassion. Tragics and the testimony of your conduct and purpose. And by the power vested in me by Dr. Jerry Prevo, the Board of Trustees of Liberty University, and upon the recommendation of the faculties of the university, I hereby confer upon you the degree of the university with all the rights and privileges appertaining thereunto. You may move your castle. Yesterday was Monday. Um, we just, I don't know, we stayed around the house. We went out and got a little bit of coffee with my nephew, but it was pretty chill and I just wanted to kind of soak up the time that we had with our family. So there is that. And then today, um, today is Tuesday. So um, right now I am actually at my favorite place. It's called Figs Ordinary. Um, it's like a gluten-free little joint, so I'm gonna get probably like a snack, maybe lunch, I don't know, we'll see. Um, and then some coffee, of course, and try to get a little bit of school done or some work. And then um, I'm gonna run into my dad's business. I have some things to price and put in there. And then this afternoon I have um, a lecture that I'm hosting for my students over Zoom. 
um, where I'm actually going to be interviewing world-renowned pianist Dr. Matthew Brower. So I'm super excited about that. Um, so we're going to be doing that. That's just a half hour long. And then tonight is our graduation party. So it's like a smaller party. Um, it is actually going to be with my nephew because he's graduating and then my niece's boyfriend um he's graduating as well and then me and then my niece and my parents and tony um and just like some family so that'll be fun um so yeah it's gonna be a pretty fun chill day um it's been a great trip so far honestly just you know being able to soak in the fact that i'm graduated and I don't even know. It's just been wonderful. So can't wait to take you along on today and let's go find some coffee and store or do anything else but what I'm gonna do now is just get my laptop out <laughs> and get a little bit of work done um I got a good amount done at the um little restaurant place so that was good that was great um I just feel like I could get a little bit more done with this time that I have here um because I have a dentist appointment um in about like 25 minutes but that's not not really enough time to like just drive somewhere so I'm just gonna sit here in my car and chill out <laughs> and just enjoy the AC and get some school done. But I was able to get most of my math course done um, while I was eating lunch, so that was good. Um, I just have my Ableton Live course. I need to watch like all the lectures before I start doing like the work. And I think this week um, I had like a discussion board that I had to post in. I did that last night and then I just have a quiz to do. So it's super easy this week, <laughs> which is good. Um, hopefully the quiz won't be too hard, but I don't think it will be. Um, it's just like over lectures and things, so we're going to do that. And then I really want to edit a YouTube video sometime this week, but I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Just depends on how much time I have, because I really want to like soak up time with family and, you know, just be able to enjoy, enjoy the time that we have here. So I'm not going to be like super stressed about getting all the work done. Um, I just had to make sure that it, that I got like the schoolwork done that was due <laughs> and all that's done now. So at this point, we're just working ahead. Um, so it's good, but I'm super early to this appointment. So I'm just like, I don't think that I want to like, I don't know. So, <laughs> um, and then I think after the dentist appointment, I'll just go to my dad's store. Um, I have a couple like shirts and things I need price cause he has like a little boutique in there. So, um, that's where I actually sell all my clothes that I get rid of. So if you guys are ever in Chestertown, Maryland, check out Chestertown Antique and Furniture Center. It's mainly a furniture center at this point that he doesn't have a lot of antiques, but there's a little boutique there. There's a bookstore. It's super cute. Um, there's lawn furniture outside. He sells swing sets, playground equipment, all sorts of things. So it's a pretty unique place. Like people from all over you know, um, the coast, like, drive, like, people come down from Maine <laughs> just to go to his store, or, you know, up from, like, the Carolinas or whatever, so, um, yeah, it's a pretty unique place, so, you know, shout out to my dad, he's pretty cool, um, and that's not even all that he does, he has, like, so many businesses, I can't even keep it all straight of what he does, but, yeah, um, I think that's where I get it from, just, like, um, doing a bunch of different things and, like, you know, just the business mindset I, that he definitely passed that down to all of his kids, which is good. It's very helpful. So <laughs> yeah, Tony and I talk about it all the time. We're just like, that is so helpful. Such a helpful skill to have. It really is. And then like even growing up, he would um, teach us about finances and how to save money and how to budget, all that good stuff, you know, how to pay with cash wherever you go, um, you know, and that's, that has definitely helped our finances since we've gotten married. Like, even during some times when it has been tight, like, just implementing things that he's taught us has helped us through. Um, and it's insane. Like, I would say now, you know, our finances, like, I mean, 
you know, like when you first get married, like you have so many dreams and ambitions of what you want to do with your money, but in reality, everyone's money is tight when they first get married. <laughs> so I would say like, we definitely can't like just go buy our dream farm like right now or whatever, but um, I think like overall at this point, we're, we're, we're doing great. Like, I mean, we're paying our bills, we're not in debt. Um, we're able to do some fun things. We're able to save money. Um, so I would say, you know, um, we just learn how to be frugal. Like, you know, even as far as keeping the air on in the house, you don't have to do that every day. That's something he taught me, you know, just open the windows, chill out, be happy, be content. Um, and then shop with coupons when you go grocery shopping. Don't get like more than you need, you know, don't like blurred on unnecessary items um and then don't go on shopping sprees which we really don't do that if we do it's budgeted it's not like you know yeah let's go put this on the credit card we don't have money for this we, we won't do that um so yeah i i don't even know why i'm talking about all this <laughs> it's probably because i'm trying to procrastinate doing school but i definitely you know um I don't mind talking about uh, just how much of an influence my dad has been. Like, I love talking about that. Um, Cause I don't know where we will be without just his advice and, you know, just being able to watch like what he's been able to do and achieve throughout his lifetime. And, you know, um, because he's handled his finances so well, he's able to be such a generous giver and that's like our goal is to not just make money to like be able to spend it on ourselves like that's not <laughs> we want to be able to help other people and that's really where we want to be someday and you know i mean right now it's just like yeah you know we're able to make sure that we give like family members you know gifts um for birthdays christmas you know all that um and I feel like we're able to overall be fairly generous with that, but um, I know that we'd like to go beyond that someday. So, um, you know, like we have a family member that, you know, is struggling, um, we could help them or, you know, even a friend, like, you know, it, it's just great. Like, or if we know someone that's in the hospital that needs help with bills, like I, I just, that would be so cool to be able to like help you know um because there's so many needs out there anymore there's so many people that are struggling and you know just be at the point where you can help others you know um i, th I think that's really good so anyways um and we definitely want to build up an inheritance for our future children that's a huge part of it you know um just be able to help them with their college if they want to go to college or you know help them get their first house set up things like that um just be able to take care of our family well is really important so anyways that's just a little ted talk for today i don't even know um i've literally been talking for seven minutes so yeah okay I'm probably gonna make this vlog super long <laughs> But maybe tomorrow what I'll do is just like start a new vlog tomorrow just because I've been talking for eight minutes now. So anyways, um, yeah, I'll let you guys go so I can get some school right done and we'll go to the dentist, see what happens. So.
Oh, stay straight, stay straight. I'm giving directions and clearly not paying attention, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> we just met my niece for coffee and then now we're gonna meet everyone, not like everyone, but a big group of family and my niece's boyfriend. <laughs> at the movies to watch Guardians of the Galaxy 3 and I actually haven't even seen the first two because I thought that they were dumb so we'll see how this goes. Um, kind of excited. I'm just excited to be with everyone. Like I'm not sure about the movie but we'll see. Um, and yeah. I think that's it for now. Hey, good morning everyone. So I hope you guys enjoyed the baccalaureate service from last night. That was my nephew out there and he is amazing. But today is Thursday and we're heading to Delaware City to maybe eat some lunch, get some coffee, just see what little stores are up there. So that'll be really exciting. So I hope that you guys enjoy the footage from today, but I think this will definitely, <laughs> I know I said it yesterday, but this will definitely be the last day that I film in this vlog and then I'll just film the weekend. So hope you guys enjoy. Just because 
because we've been doing so many things that hasn't been like on my mind but you know normally I give things away to Tony um you know he I normally can't keep a secret from him but uh, I have so I'm pretty proud of myself um so that's happened so I'm gonna miss him now we're gonna do that and I think it'll be great but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna end the vlog here as far as me talking um i'll give show you guys some clips from tonight but that will be the end of this particular vlog um and then i'll pick right back up tomorrow because we still have some great things left going on with this trip um and i think that this may be like the last series of vlogs that i do before carnegie hall so this is super special really excited to be editing all these things um, so it will be great. I'm excited. It'll be super fun. So, yeah, that's what's going on. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I can't wait to catch you guys next time. Bye. Apparently you weren't supposed to